future for our planet. It's obvious that humans cannot just carry on wasting Earth's resources, poisoning the water and the atmosphere, and risking catastrophic climate change. Everyone knows that something must be done, because we don't have a spare planet. Today, civil aviation accounts for 2% of greenhouse gas production, but has undertaken to halve its carbon emissions by 2050. So is this really feasible, given that the population of the world will have nearly doubled by then, with 9 billion potential travelers? Carving up nature to build new land-based infrastructures would have disastrous consequences for the environment. Because air transport takes up less ground area and fewer building materials, it's only logical we should use the sky's unlimited space and leave the ground for farming and preserving biodiversity. The ideal situation would be to develop superconductivity and free ourselves from gravity constraints. Then, trains could run on a type of electromagnetic track all around the world. In cities, this sort of technology would also revolutionize the traffic by bringing it a third dimension. But we're not quite there yet. Whatever happens, Tomorrow's aviation industry depends on the solutions it finds to the energy problems. Engineers are already working on more economical aircraft that will use non-petroleum-based fuels, will no longer have to circle above congested airports, and will provide a comfortable, eco-friendly cabin environment. These planes will take many different forms. There are so many possible futures for aviation. Airbus is committed to exploring them all, taking the best ideas and making them fly.